Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good morning uh, to all my beloved students here for Arif DLP and also all students across Malaysia. So today we're going to continue our lesson in Unit 5 for Mathematics DLP Year 4, uh, which is Length, Mass, and Volume of Liquid. So today we're going to to learn about the final subtopic for this unit okay it's about problem solving eh? involving length mass and volume of liquid so everyone you can refer to your textbook you can turn to page 192 okay there is a, a few example there okay as i mentioned to you before so for problem solving so first of all you have to you have to know and you must apply this four step okay four step for problem solving okay the first one is U stand for understand okay step number two is P stand for plan step number three is S stand for solve and step number four is C stand for check so you have to know and you have to apply this four step eh, for problem solving all right Okay, let we try question number 2, page 198. A treasure hunt competition starts from city A to city C through city B. Calculate the distance from city B to city C. Alright, the, the question already give us uh, a simple diagram. Okay. So question number two, you have to understand. Okay, so you have to understand from the information given in the diagram. Okay, we got three CT, okay, A, B, and C. Okay, A, B, and C. Okay, you can draw, you can draw a timeline here. Alright, so from A to B is 36 km, 775 meter. Okay, from, from A to C, so from A to C is 54 kilometer 290 meter so the question asks us to calculate the distance from city B to city C so this one we have to find this one we don't know okay from B to C so next we have to plan Okay, you have to plan, but you, what we have to do. So, as you can see here, we can perform subtraction. Why? Because we already know the total distance from A to C and also from A to B. So we can perform subtraction to get the distance for, from, from B to C. Alright, so next. Okay, we go to the step number 3 which is solve. So we have to solve. Alright, so 54 kilometer. So 
So, so 54 kilometer, 290 meter, minus 36 kilometer, 7, 775 meter. Okay. Alright. Since 290, we cannot minus with 775. So, we have to take 1 kilometer from 54. So, this one become 53. So, this one become 1290. Alright. Now, we can perform the subtraction. So, 0 minus 5. We take 1 from 9. This one become 8. 10 minus 5. We got 5. 8 minus 7, we got 1. 12 minus 7, we got 5. Okay, next. Uh, 53 minus 36. So, 3 minus 6, we have to take 1 from 5. This one become 4. 13 minus 6, we got 7. 4 minus 3, we got 1. Okay. So, the answer is 17 kilometer, 500 and 15 meter okay now step number four is check how are we going to check macam mana kita nak semak jawapan yang dah dapat tadi jawapan kita tadi 17 km 515 meter so we have to check this answer whether is it whether is it uh, right or wrong okay so how are we going to check Okay, let we perform addition. 17 kilometer, 515 meter, plus 36 kilometer, 775 meter. So, this total addi addition must, must be equal to 54 kilometer, 290 meter. Okay, now let we check. So, 5 plus 5, we got 10. So, this one 0. 1 plus 1, we got 2. 2 plus 7, we got 9. 5 plus 7, we got 12. Eh? We got 12. So, 1 we can transfer here. Since 1000 meter equal to 1 kilometer. Eh? So, 1 plus 7, we got 8. 8 plus 6, we got 14. So, 1 plus 1, we got 2. 2 plus 3, we got 5. So, 15, ki uh, sorry, 54 kilometer, 290 meter. So, again, we got, so we got back the total distance from A to C, eh? Equal to 54 kilometer, 290 meter. So, means our answer that we got here is, Correct. Okay. 17 kilometer, 515 meter. Okay. So, I hope all of you, you enjoy our lesson today. So, don't forget, every time you do problem solving, you must apply this four step. Eh? Understand, plan, solve and also check. Alright. So, see you again everyone. So, next week, we'll be going into the new topic. So, see you again. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.